Welcome back, everybody. AT&T just reporting its results. Adjusted earnings came in at 87 cents a share. That was nine cents better than the street was expecting. And revenue came in better than expected, too. $39.9 billion versus the $39.1 billion that the street had been anticipating. A lot of numbers to dig through. Free cash flow, $5.2 billion. CapEx, $4.7 billion. And, and the things that the street tends to look at, things like the Postpaid phone net ads. They had 928,000 of those. That's its best quarter in over 10 years. Churn, postpaid phone churn, was uh, at incredibly low levels that we've seen too, 0.72%. And that compares to Verizon's churn of 0.74%. But these are historically low churn levels. And then the question that a lot of people have been asking and that, that we'll be digging into on this is the subscriber numbers for HBO Max um, and the HBO subscribers. These are global numbers when you're looking at that. They came in at 69.4 million. That's up 12.5% year over. Every year. The street was looking for a slightly higher number, though, of 70.4 million. Uh, that's because domestic subs were a little less than had, had been anticipated. They were up 7.1 million to 45.2 million, but the street was looking for a number of about 47.2 million. That's because of an Amazon agreement that actually lapsed during the quarter. They discontinued HBO Max on Amazon. This was kind of a long planned uh, exit that they were doing on this. They do, the company does say that, though, for the full year, um, they think they'll be at the high end of what they had earlier said, HBO Max and HBO subs of 70 to 73 million at the high end of what they had been anticipating. You can see right now, stock's up by about 1%. Um, broadband revenue up by 7.6%. The business wireline revenue was down 5.2% to 5.9 billion because of the pandemic, not as many people in offices and things. Warner Media revenue up 14.2% to 8.4 billion. Andrew? I mean, look at that. Yeah, I'll say, oh, Becky, sorry to jump yeah. in. Look at that chart. I mean, that chart is, is you know, you look at the S&P 500 effectively right. Over the same just period of time. at a record high. This is a company that can't get out of its own way. One of, if not the most indebted companies in the United States and really in the world. Oh, great job, guys. Look at the chart difference there. The S&P up, up and away. And we talked about WeWork, Andrew, about building, coming down, rebuilding. I mean, this is a company that has been I don't know if reinventing is the right word with the Time Warner deal as well. HBO Max. Don't forget Ben Stanky comes in and basically is trying to undo everything that Randall Stevenson, his predecessor, had done. This is a company that I know a lot of shareholders have been extremely frustrated by in the last couple of years. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.